Okay, so to start the script off, we want to add uh, no, our effect into a folder. We're gonna make we're gonna make our effect. We're gonna have our left leg, right leg, right leg, and we're gonna put inside a folder. And now we're gonna go to replace storage again. We have our creator effects and disclaimer. This is not made by me. And I'll put the I'll put the owner of this module in the description. So if you want to go grab this, you can go ahead and do that. But I'll, I'll have this place uncopied locked, so you can just get it yourself. Remember, I did not make that to disclaimer. And then we're gonna have a remote event called Get Fire Trans. Basically, what we're gonna be doing to fire to the server so everybody else can see us flying with fire on their legs. So boom, now we're gonna go into our starter pack. We're gonna have our fire flower. We're gonna have two animations. For the animation, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter how it looks. I just made an animation that looks nice for the video. But you can just make a simple character that just is it's just face down while they're flying. You can make a simple auto animation. You don't have to add none of these, but this is what I wanted to do. So now we're gonna go into the script. So what we have in here, we're gonna have, we're gonna uh Repeat wait until game dot player local. What I'm gonna do? Uh, repeat wait until game dot player dot local player dot character. What is it gonna do here? We're gonna, it's gonna make us wait for the character to load until the whole script starts, so we don't have no errors locating the character or the humanoid. Then we're gonna locate players. Then we're gonna get user input servers. Then we're gonna get run servers, and then we're gonna get creator effects, character, humanoid, the animation, which is right here. And we're actually gonna load the animation after we get the humanoid. And then we're gonna get the fly animation as well. And then we're gonna look at the camera doing game that works with our current camera. And then we're gonna do. And then we're gonna get uh, make a, uh, a table where we're gonna store our both of our. When we're, when we're store two boolean values, which is gonna be false and false, which is gonna help us modify. Um, it's gonna help us modify if set is on, then set will be turned off. Then we're gonna get a body gyro, body velocity, and speed. Pretty simple. This is, how, this is what our neutral speed is gonna be. And then we're gonna set some params for ray casting, so we can basically ignore our character while we're in the air just to be safe if anything does happen we're just going to have the params so we're going to have a uh, filter descent instance so we're going to put our character inside this table whatever you put inside this table the ray will ignore so it's going to ignore our torso and we're going to blacklist it so it can't see us and then we're going to make a local function called speed and we're going to have walk jump and anchor i just made this look small function so we can modify how we can modify the code so we don't have to keep changing the speed and the walk speed and waste uh, lines of code and we can make it much easier so we're gonna do human dot walk speed equals walks. So whatever I put in here is the rush the jump power. Whatever I put in here, and we're gonna see if the uh, and then we're gonna uh, anchor the human root part. Now we're gonna use the input service that input began, and then we're gonna connect to the function, and we're gonna run uh, input and is typing through the parameters. Now we're gonna do if is typing and return n. So if you're typing, you press. Let's say you're trying to write energize out of chat. It's not gonna make you use your move because if you're typing, it's not gonna go through. And so basically, if you press e. Then we're gonna check if the the first value inside our folder is true, which it isn't. So it's gonna run this code. It's gonna run. It's gonna run the else code. But if it is true, then it's gonna fire a server. It's gonna fire through the server, and it's gonna change the the first value of the um of the table to false. But since it's not since it's not gonna run first, it's gonna run this first. We're gonna change our speed to zero, change our jump power to zero, and change and make sure our, our human root part is anchored. And then we're gonna play our animation. This animation that we're playing right now is gonna be our it's gonna be our idle animation. How we're gonna be standing in the air while it fires on our legs. And then we're gonna fire to the server again, and we're gonna set it to true. So when it fires again, it's gonna be able to remove our our fire from the legs. So this is gonna this is gonna remove the fire, and this is gonna add the fire to our legs. And now we're gonna do user input service that input ended. Then we're gonna connect the function, and then we're gonna do basically do the same thing how we started off with this script right here. And but this time we're gonna do crater .new. So basically, I since since this is not my code, I don't like to explain how other people's code works. But I can explain. I just I put little comments here. So if people wanna go look deep into this, they can try to change it up to how they like it. But basically, you're gonna do crater .new, and then you're gonna uh, just type crater inside of here. So basically, what you essentially what you want and I wanted to create it for mine and then basically what we're gonna do is gonna, this is gonna it's gonna be the center point and then you can adjust it's like the what what you want the block size to be the animation speed the part count the radius the angle the whole time and this is all explained inside the inside the discord so if you want more information about this module you can just hit the discord and they can explain it to you and give you more information and then we're gonna set the speed back to 1650 and we're gonna uh, unanchor the human root part because we want to set everything back to normal so if not devs to so this is not true then we're going to play a fly animation then we're going to change the then we're going to change the table value to so devs to the boolean value false to true and if not so else if this is not if this is not run we're going to stop the flying animation and then we're going to set devs to equal to false and then we're going to stop the animation and then we're going to do body body velocity dot parent equals so 
body body velocity dot parent is going to be equal to a human root part, and we're also going to do that to body gyro as well. This is going to this is, we're going to parent it to our, our our human root part so we can start flying in the air. And this right here is basically going to be setting up our animation. So while we're while we're flying, the animation will stop. It's, it's going to start, but when we stop flying, the animation will stop. So for the people that didn't understand this part, and now we're going to get down to run service. So run service right here is going to help us keep the. It's going to keep us from flying in the. Uh, it's going to keep us flying basically instead of using uh, a loop. A run service is a really. I, I love using run service. It's really helpful to me. So now we're going to use run service that render step connect function. Now we're going to do if devs too. So if this value is true, then we're going to change the uh, the max torque of body gyro dp and max force to these set numbers right here. So basically, make sure we change the y value, and then we see make the max force for uh 400,000, 100,000, 100,000. You can change it to whatever you want. Try to make it higher to 400,000 or whatever you want, but uh, I prefer 400,000 because that's a good number. But make sure you change the y value for the max torque because that's super crucial. If you do change the x or z value, it might mess up the way you're flying. And now we're gonna make a ray that points our, our human root part towards the ground. So character.human root part dot c frame dot position change to position and then we're going to point it to the ground so for 10 studs so while we're facing so while our character is flying and facing down the it's going to detect the ray which is going to help us put the craters down while we're flying and then we're going to set the parameters as well so basically what we did up here so we're going to so it's not going to detect our character human root part so it's not going to detect us at all it's not going to detect us at all so then we're going to do if main ray so if we're flying and we are 10 studs from the ground then we're going to create a crater which is going to make a we're going to make a path crater which is going to follow our trail while the ray is while the ray is while we're flying so while the ray is active it's going to create a path crater which is going to follow us while we're flying then as i said you can change the block side animation animation speed the part count etc and if not if we are above 10 studs away from the ground then we're just going to do nothing here it's going to put nothing here and then we're going to do x y and z and we're going to set that equal to, to camera.c frame and then two earlier angles x y z so basically this is what, this is what, what this is going to do is going to help us basically move our screen while we're flying so we're not flying in one direction and what if we move our screen to the left we're going to fly to the left and then we're going to c frame that to c from that then we're going to c frame our body gyro to c from dot angles and we're going to basically set our body gyro to the x y and z so we can basically adjust the camera while we're flying and then we're going to do body then we're going to do body velocity uh, then we're gonna change the velocity and we're gonna do the camera dot see from dot look vector so wherever our camera is looking and then we're gonna uh make basically make the speed of that and that's gonna be 145 what we did up here so if you want to change that speed change it up there and it'll change down here and then we're gonna test our spawn i love you test our spawn it's basically like it basically runs outside of the code so then we're gonna do if speed if the speed is less than or equal to 65 then the speed is gonna be equal to 60. if not we're gonna decrease the speed by 0.5 and then we're going to print speed so basically what this is doing you're going to start at a speed of 145 and while you're gradually and while you're uh while you're up at 145 it's going to make you decrease 0.5 speed so you start slowing down but you'll never be as low as 65 you'll always stay at 65 so while you're going to be going down to 145 144 143 and etc until you hit 65 then you stay at 65 and if you don't want this you can just move this from the code so you can just stay at the same so we'll stay in 145 speed the whole time and then all we're going to do here once this uh if devs 2 is false then we're going to just reset everything back to normal so just make sure uh the max force is just we can we're just going to reset the vector 3 for the max force the, the max torque set the p to 0 set the d to 0 and set the speed to 140 so when they do do it again they go back to the original speed and i said the 140 because i said 145 or 140 it's the same whatever you want to do i could have set speed i could have set speed back to 140 but you can do whatever you want for this part so the speed is up to you all right now getting into the service script so basically we're going to put a script inside service script service put it inside of here boom we're going to name it firefly and now we're going to get the replicate storage we're going to get run service debounce flame table and devs basically our flame table is going to be holding our um it's going to be holding our effects so we can remove it and keep adding it back and our debounce is basically going to be our debounce so we can basically basically have a cooldown but i personally did add a cooldown because i wanted people to to have fun with this but if you did want to add a cooldown you would you would easily just make a line here and then just do wait wait however you long how, you can put wait however you want here like wait 10 you can do wait let's say 10 and there's gonna be a 10 second cooldown that's how you would do that but i didn't add a cooldown so i want you guys to have fun using this so let's get right back into this so first we're gonna do debounce players we're gonna add a player into the uh into the table the return and then we're gonna do debounce play equals true so what we're doing here is adding a simple debounce so it can't be it can't be spammed to the max not as not really really bad so then we're gonna then we're gonna look at the character and then we're gonna get 
now we're gonna loop through the flame table now if flame table and if basically if there's something in the flame table and devs is true then we're gonna run this code right here but since that's not gonna run first we're gonna do this we're gonna loop through the effects folder and then we're gonna get the children and then we're gonna do local new effect is gonna equal to value.com value.clone and the value is gonna be our effects and we're gonna set the uh, the flame table index equal to our new effects so we're gonna be we're gonna be putting the our flame effect inside of our flame table so the things that are on our legs that's making the fire is gonna be inside a table so we can save it so we can just delete it really easily instead of going back to all three of so all three of our effects so we have three effects in here so it's gonna be easier because we have it all in one table that'll be the flame table we can delete it all at one time and then we're gonna do if index equal equals one, then we're gonna parent that. Then we're gonna do flame table dot index dot parent. So basically, let's say this is the the index is one. It's gonna parent this to the left leg. This is gonna parent these two to the right leg. So that's basically what we're doing in this code right here. So we're gonna uh, get the index. So that would be one. Then we're gonna parent to the left leg. But if it's not one, we're gonna parent to the right leg. And then we're gonna make sure we can't see our legs. We're gonna do character wait for child. Then we do left leg and right leg and change and change the transparency to one. And then after we do that, we're going to set our debounce player equal to new. And then if now we're going to go back to the top part. So after we are done using it and it, and, uh, it finds another server saying that, oh, OK, uh, we have something inside the table and depth is true. Then we're going to loop through the flame table. Then we're going to do V destroy and V is going to be the value. V is going to be these particles and then we're going to destroy it, and then we're going to set flame table i so basically our index equal to nil so you can basically remove so basically make sure everything's removed from the table and then we're going to set our character's legs back so we can actually see our legs so set the transparency back to zero for our uh for our right left and right leg and we're going to set devs equal to false and then after that well since this is a local function all we have to do is replicate storage dot get fire trans so our get fire trans dot replicate storage the answer event connect we're basically gonna connect this function. So our function right here, fire trans transport remote. Then don't forget to run play through the parameters. That's basically how you that's basically how you make your firefly system. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I'm really sorry that I was I was not able to keep up with the consistent videos, but I promise you guys I'm gonna keep it up. I wanna keep it up for you guys and I wanna make some more banger videos for you guys. And please show your love by joining the Discord, talking to me. I love conversation. I wanna show you guys how to code, I wanna make more amazing videos. And that's all I have to say for you guys. And I really hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay up.